Hello, my name is Kerry with Two Digital Gypsies and during our stay in Kenya we booked a seven day safari with Anadura Safaris. We started our safari from Nairobi and headed towards Mount Kenya and the Old Pajeta Conservancy. The drive from Nairobi to Old Pajeta takes around half a day when you add in the stops. Our first stop was at the Africana Curio Shop located in Caratina. This place is great. The salesmen don't pressure you to buy anything. There are clean restrooms and a small restaurant where you can buy drinks and snacks. Here we bought some ebony bowls and figurines. Leaving the curio shop we drove through hilly countryside where numerous small farms offer a variety of fruits in stands along the roadside. We bought small sweet bananas that were the best tasting bananas we've eaten in a long time. Coffee, pineapples, mango and numerous other types of fruit are raised in this area. The last town we stopped in before reaching the Opajeta Conservancy is Nanyuki, which is located on the equator. A salesman comes out and shows you examples of the Coriolis effect using toothpicks and a small container of water. The stop does have restrooms which are few and far between in Kenya, so take the opportunity to use them while there. My advice would be to avoid the Coriolis show, take a few photos on the equator, use the restrooms and avoid the shops. The shop owners here are just too pushy and aggressive. Leaving the stop in Nanyuki, we drove to the Opajeta Conservancy which has the chimpanzee sanctuary. Here rescued chimps from Africa are given sanctuary and nursed back to health in this large natural enclosure. From the chimpanzee sanctuary, we did a game drive that ended up at the Sweetwater's tented camp where we spent two nights. Day two of our safari in Kenya consisted of game drives at the Old Pajeta Conservancy. Game drives are usually done in the early morning or late afternoon. That's because during the midday hours a lot of wildlife are bedded down. On the morning game drive we watched the sun come up on the equator and saw all kinds of wildlife, including a herd of elephants, giraffes, warthogs, impala, zebras, and later in the afternoon a lion. Also at Old Pajeta is a black rhino enclosure where we were able to feed Baraka. Baraka is blind and even though it was fun to feed him we felt sorry for the old rhino. Day two of our safari ended with dinner at the Sweetwater's Tenant Camp restaurant and another opportunity to watch a herd of elephants come into the watering hole to drink. If you like this video, please share it and click the thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of our videos, please visit our YouTube channel, Two Digital Gypsies.